thirsty daily. Drink some water when you feel thirsty. Cut down dessert and have a smoothie. Jamaicans, love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. One more time now. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Listen up. Make sure you know your health status. Go a doctor and get a regular checkup. Chronic disease can slowly creep up. We can lower the risk and live up. If we just eat right and get moving, jumping, running, dancing, or skipping, chain the children, them lazy a bit. Make them play out the door and put down the tablet. Jamaicans, love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Jamaica get moving. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. After two, make me hear you say I love me. One, two. I love me. One, two. I love me. One, two. I love me. After two, make me hear you say I love me. One, two. I love me. One, two. I love me. One, two. Jamaicans, love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. One more time now. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Jamaica get moving. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. One more time now. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Listen up. Let's talk about taking the stairs. Did you know that no special equipment is needed to take the stairs? And this can be done at various times of the day. Let's look at some benefits now of taking the stairs. Even two flights of stairs per day make you lose six pounds in one year. Climbing stairs can improve the amount of good cholesterol. Stair climbing can help you build and maintain healthy bones, muscles, and joints. Alright guys, I think it's time for us to do a stretch break. I'm going to ask Mr. Archer to just lead us in a few minutes of stretches.
One, two, three, two more. One, two. I does the 30 minutes activity daily. Let your body treat your body right. Vegetables, make sure you eat plenty. Children do 60 minutes activity daily. Drink some water when you feel thirsty. Cut down dessert and have a smoothie. Show me your cans. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. One more time now. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Listen up. Make sure you know your health status. Go a doctor and get a regular checkup. Chronic disease can slowly creep up. We can lower the risk and live up. If we just eat right and get moving. Jumping, running, dancing, or skipping. Chain the children, them lazy a bit. Make them play out the door and put down the tablet. Jamaicans, love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Jamaica get moving. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. After two, make me hear you say, I love me. One, two. One, two. I love me. One, two. I love me. After two, make me hear you say, I love me. One, two. I love me. One, two. I love me. One, two. I love me. Jummy your cans. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. One more time now. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Jamaica get moving. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. One more time now. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Listen up. Let's talk about taking the stairs. Did you know that no special equipment is needed to take the stairs? And this can be done at various times of the day. Let's look at some benefits now of taking the stairs. Even two flights of stairs per day make you lose six pounds in one year. Climbing stairs can improve the amount of good cholesterol. Stair climbing can help you build and maintain healthy bones, muscles, and joints. Alright guys, I think it's time for us to do a stretch break. I'm going to ask Mr. Archer to just lead us in a few minutes of stretches.
One, two, three, two more. One, two. I does the 30 minutes activity daily. Love your body, treat your body right. Vegetables, make sure you eat plenty. Children do 60 minutes activity daily. Drink some water when you feel thirsty. Cut down dessert and have a smoothie. Show me your cans. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. One more time now. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Listen up. Make sure you know your health status. Go a doctor and get a regular checkup. Chronic disease can slowly creep up. We can lower the risk and live up. If we just eat right and get moving, jumping, running, dancing, or skipping, chain the children, them lazy a bit. Make them play out the door and put down the table. Jamaicans, love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Jamaica get moving. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. After two, make me hear you say, I love me. One, two. I love me. One, two. I love me. One, two. I love me. After two, make me hear you say, I love me. One, two. I love me. One, two. I love me. One, two. I love me. Jamaica can't love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. One more time now. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Jamaica get moving. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. One more time now. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Listen up. Let's talk about taking the stairs. Did you know that no special equipment is needed to take the stairs? And this can be done at various times of the day. Let's look at some benefits now of taking the stairs. Even two flights of stairs per day make you lose six pounds in one year. Climbing stairs can improve the amount of good cholesterol. Stair climbing can help you build and maintain healthy bones, muscles, and joints. Alright guys, I think it's time for us to do a stretch break. I'm going to ask Mr. Archer to just lead us in a few minutes of stretches.
One, two, three, two more. One, two. Adults to 30 minutes activity daily. Love your body, treat your body right. Vegetables, make sure you eat plenty. Children do 60 minutes activity daily. Drink some water when you feel thirsty. Cut down dessert and have a smoothie. Show me your cans. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. One more time now. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Listen up. Make sure you know your health status. Go a doctor and get a regular checkup. Chronic disease can slowly creep up. We can lower the risk and live up. If we just eat right and get moving, jumping, running, dancing, or skipping. Change the children, them lazy a bit. Make them play out the door and put down the tablet. Jamaicans, love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Jamaica get moving. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. After two, make me hear you say I love me. One, two. I love you. One, two. I love you. One, two. I love you. After two, make me hear you say I love me. One, two. I love you. One, two. I love you. One, two. Jummy your cans, love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. One more time now. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Just eat right. Love your body, treat your body right. Love your body, treat your body right. Jummy your can get moving. Love your body, treat your body right. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to the official launch of our physical activity webpage and our corporate wellness manual brought to you by the Ministry of Health and Wellness. Dr. The Honorable Christopher Tufton, MP. The Honorable Juliet Cuthbert Flynn, OD, MP. Mrs. Julia Manderson Steele, Senior Health Education Officer, Health Promotion and Education. Dr. Michelle Harris, Advisor NCDs and Mental Health from PAHO serving Jamaica, Bermuda, and the Cayman Islands. Dr. Simone Spence, Director of Health Promotion and Protection. Ms. Takis Foga, Director of Health Promotion and Education. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. My name is Talia Suarez, and I'll be taking you throughout the program this morning. Now, I see all of you joining us on uh, Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, on Zoom as well. I know you're ready to get moving and, you know, get physical, but we're going to have that a little bit later on in the program. Now, on September 11th, it was actually celebrated as Caribbean Wellness Day under the theme, In It Together, Building Healthy Communities. Now, you'll be hearing a lot more about Caribbean Wellness Day from Dr. Spence a little bit later on in the program, but what we're focusing on this morning is the importance of partnership, the importance of working together and just helping everyone to build healthier communities. Now, for many of you who probably don't know, over 5,000 deaths per year are caused by physical inactivity. And this is something that we want to change here through the Ministry of Health and Wellness, all right? Now, through the theme, In It Together, Building Healthier Communities, we also aim to ensure that the theme outlives this year. And the Ministry of Health and Wellness would, of course, like to thank their partners for all the continued support and promotion for just building healthier lifestyles. No, we could not do this without God, and I think it is only right and only fitting for us to grace and, of course, bless the launch of our physical activity webpage and the corporate wellness manual. So, ladies and gentlemen, please, I want to see some emojis. I want to see a little, you know, some form of support and help us all welcome Mrs. Julia Manderson Steele, Senior Health Education Officer, Health Promotion and Education, who will be blessing us in prayer this morning. Good morning, everyone. Let us pray. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be so glad in it. Father God, as we come into your presence once more on this, our Caribbean Wellness Day commemoration, Father God, we recognize how, as a people, we are hurting, how we are sad, and how sometimes we feel lost. But Father God, 
we also recognize that in your presence there is so much joy. Speak to the hearts of your people. Help us to appreciate who you are and make you the center of our lives. Father God, as a people, we want to come together, guided by you and your love, and work together so that we can change the life of each and every one, so that we can find your joy and your peace. Thank you for, for today, and thank you for your mercies that are new every day. Father, we love you and we honor you. We praise your holy name. Give us your peace. Give us your joy. Today, henceforth, and always. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much, Mrs. Julia Manderson Steele, for that prayer. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please help me to invite Dr. Michelle Harris, the advisor, NCDs and Mental Health from Pajo, serving Jamaica, Bermuda, and the Cayman Islands, and she'll be bringing us some greetings this morning. Morning. Dr. The Honorable Christopher Tufton, Minister of Health and Wellness, the Honorable Cuth Juliet Cuthbert Flynn, Dr. Simone Spence, Mr. Keith Fogel, other members on the head table, members of the Ministry of Health, visitors all. I bring you greetings on behalf of the PAHO WHO representation in Jamaica and from Dr. Carissa Etienne, Director of the Pan American Health Organization, at this, the launch of the Physical Activity Web page and Corporate Wellness Manual. As Jamaica is still basking in the euphoria that came from observing the tremendous success of the athletes on the world stage at the Olympic and Paralympic Games in Tokyo and Japan, in Tokyo, Japan, and at various of the Diamond League meets, we are reminded that it's important for all of the population to incorporate adequate physical activity into their daily schedule. We recognize that physical activity is important across all ages. Active play and recreation are important during early childhood, as well as for healthy growth and development in children and adolescents. When these habits are developed early and are fostered in a supportive home, school, or community environment, this increases the chances for the development of long lasting, healthy, active lifestyles. It is also important that adults can be physically active and less sedentary at work. And whether working or not, older adults in particular can benefit from regular physical activity to maintain physical, mental, and social health and enable healthy aging. Physical activity can be undertaken in many different ways. Physical activity can be undertaken in many different ways. Walking, cycling, many different active forms of recreation and playing of sports such as football, cricket, netball, basketball, tennis, swimming, cycling, gardening, and many other ways. Physical activity can and should be integrated into the settings in which people live, work, and play. Sport and active recreation can also be a key driver of tourism and employment. It can foster community development and social integration, and in fact, 
be an important source of structured coaching, mentoring, and opportunities for development of key life skills among youth who may otherwise be difficult to reach for such guidance. The World Health Organization's Global Action Plan on Physical Activity from 2018 to 2030 sets out as its mission to ensure that all people have access to safe and enabling environments and to diverse opportunities to be physically active in their daily lives as a means of improving individual and community health and contributing to the social, cultural, and economic development of all nations. The action plan had recognized during its development that there were growing opportunities for digital innovations to promote and support people of all ages to be more active and to build upon the rapidly growing practice of M Health to harness the potential of data to help promote, support, and monitor physical activity. While the plan While the plan predated this current pandemic, the uh, there is some feedback. Somebody's mic is open. While the plan predated this current pandemic, we recognize that there is even greater urgency to promote digital innovation to support people of all ages to become more active. The Jamaica Health and Lifestyle Survey that was conducted in 2017, reported that 82% of the Jamaican population had low levels of physical activity. 16% engaged in moderate levels of physical activity and just 2% were engaged in what we could refer to as high levels of physical activity. Whereas one in two persons, that is 54% of the population were considered to be overweight or obese. We are also aware that physical activity, inactivity and poor nutrition are among the risk factors that are driving the epidemic of childhood obesity and of non-communicable diseases that has been having an ongoing impact on the population. Increasing physical activity requires a systems-based approach. There is no single policy solution. Investing in various policies is needed in order to create active environments, to create active societies, to create active systems, and to encourage and support the people to become more active. We are reminded that there is a target to reduce the levels of physical inactivity in adults by 15% by 2030. And I commend the Ministry of Health and Wellness for this innovative effort in working towards this, achieving this target of the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. The Ministry of Health and Wellness has already led the way with the Jamaica Moves initiatives that have impacted positively on children, workplaces, and communities here in Jamaica. And that has been adopted across the Caribbean as Caribbean Moves. It is therefore commendable that on this Caribbean Wellness Day, there is the launch of this new innovation that is certainly, as we seek to realize the vision of more active people for a healthier world, even in the midst of this pandemic. I am therefore pleased to bring you greetings on behalf of the Pan American Health Organization and to pledge our ongoing commitment to the Ministry of Health and Wellness that works to achieve and to support the well being of the Jamaican population. I thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Michelle Harris for your greetings this morning. And as you rightfully said, physical activity is so important right across the board in all ages. And I think I mentioned that it was 5,000 deaths caused from inactivity earlier, but it's actually 5 million deaths, all right? And when we talk about wellness, we're not only talking about physical wellness, but also your, your mental, your, your, your emotional, 
every single aspect is actually affected. And sometimes when you realize that, guess what? You're not as active you know, physically anymore. It starts affecting your mood. It starts affecting your day. It starts affecting how you feel. So that is why we're working on building healthier lifestyles and you know, building healthier communities. So thank you so much, Dr. Michelle Harris. Now, to give us an overview of the Caribbean Wellness Week, I mentioned it earlier, in it together, building healthier communities. We're going to hear lots more about that. So please help me welcome Dr. Simone Spence, Director for Health Promotion and Protection. Morning, everyone. Thank you so much, Talia, for that introduction. Minister of Health and Wellness, Dr. The Honorable Christopher Tufton, our State Minister in the Ministry of Health and Wellness, the Honorable Juliet Cuthbert Flynn, our representative from the Pan American Health Organization, Dr. Michelle Harris, colleagues, friends, members of the media. It really is indeed my privilege to be able to present this overview of Caribbean Wellness Day or Week. This day is actually recognized annually in the region on the second Saturday in September and is a reminder of the commitment made by all CARICOM heads of government to collaborate with all sectors, community groups, and civil society in developing and sustaining healthy lifestyle initiatives that empower and create a supportive environment for people to lead healthier lives. It was not intended for Caribbean Wellness Day to just be confined to a day or one special event but rather for it to be used as a part of an ongoing effort to stimulate workplaces, schools, faith-based organizations, and the community at large to see every day as a wellness day and incorporate health-promoting activities within their organizations and respective settings. Amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, it is timely and critical for our country to gain power through collective action and continue building healthy communities as echoed in the theme for Caribbean Wellness Day 2021. The Ministry of Health and Wellness is therefore using this opportunity of Caribbean Wellness Week as a kickstart to refocus the general population on the messages surrounding healthy lifestyle and re-engaging them in activities around the Jamaica Moves program. Our key messages as it relates to the prevention and control of non-communicable diseases continues to be getting physically active in whatever setting you are, at least 30 minutes for adults and 60 minutes for children. Eat healthy. That means limiting your intake of fat, sugar, and salt, and incorporating fruits and vegetables in your daily consumption of food. Do not smoke. Do not abuse the use of alcohol, and in addition, be intentional about identifying other ways to reduce your stress. In commemoration of Caribbean Wellness Week this year, the Ministry of Health and Wellness has supported the fitness component of the Miss Jamaica Beauty pageant through outfitting our beauties in Jamaica Moves t-shirts. We have reinforced practical tips on eating healthy, staying active, and managing stress in a four-page feature in the weekend edition of our national newspapers. The Honorable Minister's message has been circulated to the various church groups for them to share with their respective congregations. And messages have been circulating on the ministry's social media platforms, and we have begun to circulate them to our partners for further dissemination. Moving Jamaicans towards healthier practices and lifestyle requires all hands on deck. We must remain committed to supporting each other on this journey in families, across networks and communities, as well as within our organizations. The Ministry of Health and Wellness reiterates its commitment to support the empowerment and engagement of our population for promoting health and well being and definitely becoming more active. Over to you, Talia. Thank you so much, Dr. Simone Spence for that wonderful overview of Caribbean Wellness Day. And I mean, 30 minutes a day can really just make a difference. Substituting a, a sugary drink with some water one, once a day can really just make a big, big difference. So ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna move right along because when we talk about wellness, we're not only talking about wellness as it relates to being at home or you know, going to the gym or going to the park. 
but we're talking about overall wellness, wellness in every single area of your life, right? So I'm talking about wellness in schools, wellness in the workplace, wellness in your faith-based institutions, anywhere you go, we want you to find wellness, right? So ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Ms. Takis Foga, Director of Health Promotion and Education. And I think, Ms. Foga, you're gonna walk us through workplace wellness, yes? All right, so we're gonna hear more about workplace wellness. Ms. Foga, over to you. Thank you so much, welcome. I want to just acknowledge my honorable ministers online, Minister Tufton, Minister Flynn, who is with us, my director, Dr. Simone Spence, colleagues from the Ministry of Health and Wellness, and partners, ladies and gents, a very warm welcome to you all. Thank you so much for being here. Now, as we seek to launch our newly revised corporate wellness manual, we want the opportunity to highlight to you some of the things that are outlined in that manual. So I want you to just pay attention right now to this video that is about to be presented. The World Health Organization speaks to workplace wellness programs as a best buy option for the prevention and control of non-communicable diseases and mental health. In Jamaica in 2004, we had the policy for the promotion of healthy lifestyle. And within that policy, we spoke to the creation of healthy schools, healthy communities, and healthy workplaces. In 2005, we were actually able to do a corporate wellness manual for workplaces, and currently, we are actually renewing that manual. So what is the goal of workplace wellness? The goal is to create an environment that supports healthy lifestyle practices. Why, why would we invest in our workplace wellness? Well, for the employer, you're looking at reduced absenteeism. We're looking at reduced healthcare costs. We're looking at higher staff morale. We're looking at the way in which we can recruit more employees and retain them. In terms of the employees now, we're talking about improved health, greater job satisfaction, and of course, learning more about healthy lifestyle. In terms of an overall program, there are just a few things I want us to understand how we can get things going. To get started, you must have buying from management. You then establish a committee, and then you do various types of assessments because ultimately, you want employees' interest and their needs to be met. After you've gotten started that way, you want to then develop the program. In developing the program, you have certain essentials. And we're talking about social health, the physical. We're talking about spiritual, mental, occupational. And what is it that we want to hone in on these essentials? Well, basically, we want to institutionalize certain measures. We want to institutionalize measures that facilitate increased uh, physical activities. We want to institutionalize measures that will create an environment that promotes healthy eating. We want to ensure that screening is done and we support persons with NCDs. We also want to ensure that messages to address risky behaviors are also uh, done as well. We want to ensure that the good mental health and well-being is promoted and created for. And then, of course, we want to ensure the safety of our employees, so no hazards. So the next thing we want to do is then implement the program. And in implementing the program, the important thing is to promote the program because we want to ensure that the employees are aware of the programs that you are instituting. And you want them to have notice, enough notice to prepare themselves and get ready for the programs. 
And then, of course, with workplace wellness, you want to motivate them. So incentives and rewards and recognition, extremely important. Having implemented the program, critical is monitoring and evaluating the program. And when you do that, you're, you're really tracking the success of the program. And you want to do that by looking at the different process sees that you are going through. What are the indicators you're looking at? What is happening? So you know what is good and what is not so good. You want to look at the actual outcome. Did we really achieve what we set out to do? And of course, you want to look at the cost. Certainly as an employer, you want to ensure that by doing this, by investing so much in the program, you are actually seeing cost benefits. After all of that, I just want you to know that we at Ministry of Health and Wellness have resource materials to support the program. So the resource material to support this program is our newly revised corporate wellness manual. And so at this time, we are going to invite Honorable Minister Cuthbert Flynn and Dr. Simone Spence to come and officially launch the Wellness Manual. Wonderful, newly revised corporate wellness manual officially launched one more time, ladies and gentlemen. I am sure it's going to be amazing. I'm sure it will impact hundreds of thousands, if not millions, yes, millions of lives. I am so sure about that. So thank you so much, the Honorable, Doc the Honorable Juliet Cuthbert Flynn and Dr. Simone Spence, the official launch of our corporate wellness manual. Now I know that we we have we have some we have we have some other things to to tell you all about. We have lots more resources to share with you, and I must tell you, as um as Miss Fogo actually touched on workplace wellness, it's the simple things like making sure that you know water is is easily available and easily accessible. You know, probably taking the stairs instead of the elevator. I don't know. You know, maybe just getting up to stretch. I know when you have your, your smart watches and your smartphone, sometimes they remind you to breathe. I think they need to remind us to stretch sometimes instead of just to breathe. You know, probably waking up a little bit earlier just to walk or maybe run. A lot of us can run. I don't know if we have knee problems or back problems, but we're not talking about the problems. We want to fix the problems, right? And that is why we are officially, and we have officially launched our corporate wellness manual, of course, our physical activity page as well, all right? So we're actually going to move into the journey to wellness. And at this time, I'd like to invite Dr. The Honorable Christopher Tufton, yes, our Minister of Health, and of course, the Honorable Juliet Cuthbert Flynn. Hello, Minister. How are you? I know you're right. Mini yes, Minister has joined us. Welcome, Minister Tufton. Hi, how are you? I am fine. How are you? A uh, little distance away, and sorry about that, but. Uh, it's okay. It's a new time. Enjoying. <laughs> We're yeah. enjoying the digital space and um, all its benefits, so you can be both places at once. Thank you. Hello, yeah. Minister. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Got your exercise <laughs> in this morning? I got up very early, yes, um, at the usual time, and did my little bit for my wellness sake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Minister Tufton and actually Minister Cuthbert yeah. Flynn as well, um, we would actually first really like to commend the Ministry of Health and Wellness for this launch of our Corporate Wellness Manual. So we must commend you for, for launching it. And we know that the wellness agenda is an area that you, uh, Dr. Tufton, is very passionate about. So can you explain to us just the importance of having a wellness manual for the workplace? All right, so first of all, let me just congratulate the ministry team um, for their efforts and to all of you there for unveiling this very important additional 
component of the wellness agenda. I think it's very important, and clearly a lot of work has gone into it. So just commendations to Dr. Spencer, team, Ms. Fogan, and others. Um, it's very important to more direct to your question. Uh, you know, life challenges us in all aspects, and we, if we're not careful, get so caught up in doing what we think is expected of us or what is expected of us in terms of work, commitments of one form or another, that we forget to take care of ourselves and we measure success based on those achievements rather than our state of mind or physical uh, state. And uh, oftentimes we meet our demise, uh, achieving other levels of success, but ignoring ourselves. So the, the wellness agenda and the physical activity agenda, as you have said and others, is essential to allowing us to live a wholesome life and to view ourselves as part of that um, approach to achieving other things, our, 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 our physical state and our mental state. Yes, Minister Tufton, and he actually touched on um, living a wholesome life and the importance of balance, especially when it comes to wellness and physical wellness. Sometimes we, we just want to be successful in our careers. We want to be successful in every other aspect of our lives, and sometimes we forget ourselves. We forget the physical being, and without our physical being, being well, we're probably not able to fulfill our maximum potential. You know, so it's so important that you actually touched on that. But Minister Cuthbert Flynn, you know, many of us struggle, as we, we're talking about balance and um, being well, physically well and mentally, healthy, mentally well, sorry, emotionally well. Um, balance is very important, you know, and sometimes we're just bombarded with the priorities of work and family life. And, you know, we want to go back to school. We want so much more for ourselves sometimes. And you, as a, as a state minister, and, you know, of course, an MP together, I'm sure, with many other priorities that you do have and roles that you play. Tell us the importance of maintaining a healthy lifestyle and how you have been able to just integrate all of that together, healthy lifestyle practices in your busy schedule. Um, first of all, good morning, all. I, too, want to commend the ministry for launching this um, um, web page. I think it's very important for all Jamaicans um, to live a healthy lifestyle. My motto is um, fitness is a lifestyle, live it. Right. And so it is important to make that commitment. You talk about um, persons um, having to work and you have more persons in the workforce, nor especially women in the workforce and managing family, you know, children, the husband, yes. and other commitments, of course. But I think the first thing that one has to do is to make that commitment to yourself to say that I want to make sure that I have a good metabolic, um, if living a good metabolic lifestyle, um, right. which will be incorporating better eating habits and of course not living a sedentary lifestyle. And as you mentioned, um, you know, you make that commitment. I think there are several things that persons can do to actually help them um, is to plan. Mm -hmm. And if you don't plan, you're just not, it's just not going to happen with all the commitments that you have with your life, with all the yes. other things happening. And so I think it's important to plan to say, when am I going to exercise? If, it's, if you're a morning person or if you're an evening person, yes. I like to get up early at five o'clock and get Me it too. out of the way and <laughs> uh, get, it, get it done so the rest of the day I can focus. Mm -hmm. And another thing is, if it is that you have a desk job, you have your water. Always pack your water, take it to work with you, put it on your desk, and as you say, everybody now has a smart watch. Yeah, you right, make right. sure that you plan throughout the day where you set it, where you get up and you walk. Um, as you said, stretch, yeah. do something. And so I think it's really about planning um, because if you don't plan, you're going to sit at that desk and you're not going to do anything because yeah. you have so many other things happening. And by the time you get home, you have your family telling you whether they're looking for food yeah, something, something. <laughs> for dinner or something and something extra always comes up exactly you know and no so matter how you plan sometimes something extra always just 
just sneak Get in the way. They, yeah. right. <laughs> so I think it's best to just make that commitment to yourself that I'm going to exercise whether it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, you have the days plan out right. and you get up and you do it, get it done. Is it also important to have persons around you who are just as motivated? Because sometimes as persons, you, 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 you can't even find the motivation yourself to get started. And sometimes you get started and you, you're like, oh, how do I maintain this? So is it important to have someone around you with the, probably the same vision and mission who can not only hold you accountable, but sometimes give you a little encouragement sometimes when you probably need it the most? I think it's important. It depends on your mental. I think it's important on who you are. Mm -hmm. um, some people are motivated just by themselves. Yes. And some people are motivated by, you know, they cycle together or they run together. They have running partners. Yeah. Um, um, or just, as I said, for me, I'm a loner. Yeah. And so I like to go out there and do my exercise by myself. But it's always best if it is that you know that it's harder for you to make such a commitment um, and to get up and get it done, then it's best to get a partner to make sure that that person can push you when you don't feel like getting up and, and going out there and doing whatever it is, whether it's going to the gym or just to walk. Find a walking partner, find a jogging partner, find a swimming partner, cycle, a cycle partner, a hiking partner. Um, just find someone that will motivate you if it is that you need that type of motivation. So right. it, it just depends on the personality. Okay, okay, totally, totally, Minister. Now, Minister Tufton, I know that um, you're probably considered sometimes as Jamaica's wellness ambassador extraordinaire. <laughs> you know, we, yeah. we, we, I'm, we see you running, Minister. We see you exercising and we see you showing us up sometimes, you know. <laughs> swimming. You saw him swimming? Yes, we, 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 and we're proud of him too. I'm sure he encouraged a number of persons because believe it or not, we're surrounded by water, but a lot of Jamaicans still don't know how to swim. So, you know, I'm sure he encouraged a lot of persons, Minister. But um, please share with us your journey to wellness, uh, particularly your physical, um, where, where physical activity is concerned, or what has it been like for you? First of all, the, the true wellness ambassador is beside you, okay? She's an Olympian. <laughs> that was a long so time ago. <laughs> let's, not, let's not take away from her. But she continues to and does quite well with it. And, and I'm really proud of her and proud to be identified with her. But beyond that, um, you know, the minister is very correct. You have to develop a habit. It, it, it has to be scheduled. It has to be planned. You have to know yourself and determine whether you can do a loner or you can you need a group. I find that I do much better with a group most of the times, but sometimes I do use my experience for quiet reflection, and so I prefer to be on my own. Yeah. So I mix it up a bit, and I don't like monotony, so I try to do different things, which is why you see me swimming sometimes, or trying to swim sometimes, running, riding, hiking, um, walking, because I find there in, in variety, generates interest. I prefer the outdoors, so I do most of it that way because, again, I like that kind of approach. So what I do is to log a time that belongs to my, my, my wellness agenda, if you will. Not that it's not an ongoing daily occurrence because food intake is very critical and, of course, you have to eat right throughout the, the day. But from a physical activity perspective, I, I commit an hour or two per day, starting very early in the morning. I get up at about 4.30, quarter to five. And between five and seven, I try to commit to that. And I have a, a somewhat of a routine that promotes a variety of things. So one day it may be jogging, another day walking, another day running and going to the pool, another day a hike, um, an early morning ride with, with friends. And what it does for me after a while, I feel as if, if I don't do it, I'm lacking, <laughs> I'm missing something. And what you want to do is to, uh, as an, it, it has to be a personal journey, a personal experience, but as leaders, and this is where I think the ministry need, is being forward thinking with the manual, we have to provide leadership. We have to get out there and engage persons, get them to try. Because once they start it, um, it becomes addictive, and it's a good addiction. Um, you can become uh, addicted to physical activity. And while you have to be guided by your doctor to not hurt yourself or harm yourself, 
The truth is, it is a good thing when you literally go to bed looking forward to doing it the next day. And uh, I think over time, that's what the promotion, the encouragement, the example setting has done um, for me and hopefully the influence on others to, to do the same or to take that approach. Indeed, Minister, and you mentioned the physical activity and, of course, how you eat, you know, what you consume daily is extremely important. And for many persons, you probably get some motivation when you, when you see the scale or your clothes fitting a little bit different. But that's just a plus, right? That's just, that's just a plus. I'm just telling you, you can find a little bit more motivation there. But Minister Cuthbert Flynn, Olympian and one of um, Jamaica's long-standing <laughs> fitness gurus, I should say, as Minister Tufton said, you know, I, I don't know if you'd like to probably demonstrate a, a few moves oh or Lord. share with our, our you audience, you know, a, a, me a, on the spot. some physical activities <laughs> that we can do or just incorporate into our daily lives, you know? Well, I think, uh, yes. I mean, I think jumping jacks. Everybody know jumping jacks. And I think um, <laughs> some people don't like the jumping. But I think uh, even 12 or 15 minutes a day, what I did this morning, I heard that you guys are going to have me doing a workout. I already worked out this morning. But I'll jump in. She's showing <laughs> off, all right? I'm just but, um, telling you. <laughs> about 15 minutes, and what you do is just a continuous, um, and you can just start off by doing some jumping jacks. Everybody know to do that. Yes. And yes. you do that for maybe about 20 seconds, and then you rest um, maybe like 10 seconds, and then you do some squats, remember? You have to squat properly, proper technique, of course. You can put your hands here, proper technique, um, but back and of course and keep you in your knee and um, you do that for the 20 seconds again you rest for your 10 seconds and then you can do lunges everybody know to do lunges right right everybody know to do lunges and then you do something like that and maybe incorporate four things you can do a push-up no I do the modified push-up because I'm you know even though I'm an Olympian a long time long time ago <laughs> and so what I do um, I do the ones on my knees. So you stay on your knees, and you just go down as far as you can go, and you do that. So you can incorporate those four things into your routine, and of course, you just repeat that like yes. four times. Well, Minister, I should tell you, <laughs> long time or short time, I need to clap you because I do the modified ones too. <laughs> <laughs> no sh no shame in our game over here, Minister. <laughs> young, not so young, it's okay. <laughs> All right, Minister, thank you so much for demonstrating. Just a, just a few simple, you know, physical activity um, techniques that we can just use to keep our heart rate up and, you know, exactly. just to start. Just right. to start. And, you know, sometimes you can walk on the spot too. Right. You know, do a little walking on the spot. Dr. Tufton, are you here, Minister? You're still here with us, right? Yes. Yes, okay, so can you share how important it is um, to get the population moving? Everybody knows about Jamaica Moves and the impact it has had on millions of lives. But how important is it to get us moving, to keep us moving, especially in the light of, of everything that we're learning um, with the COVID-19 pandemic? Well, first of all, the, 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 it's grounded in the science, the, the fundamentals of the quality of life the longevity of life, um, the clinicians online and in the audience will tell you that most Jamaicans die from some sort of lifestyle related diseases, hypertension, uh, cardiovascular disease, cancers and so on, stroke. Um, and a lot of that could be prevented, avoided or delayed. So you get a long life and a healthy life by engaging in a routine around physical activity or wellness of one form or another. So what we promote is for Jamaicans to live longer, healthier lives. And it, 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 is, it is grounded in those basic principles around wellness, which we are advancing in the manual for companies. Uh, it, 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 it is important because if we don't do it, uh, then there is significant cost to individuals, to families, to communities, you know, hospital bill, medication bill. Then there is the grief and the pain of suffering associated with your sick loved ones or yourself, premature death, 
um, none of us wants to live a life that way. And therefore, all of us should see it as a personal investment. And so what we did with Jamaica Moves and the other programs like the ones you're talking about is really to, to encourage Jamaicans, firstly, by showing them what the implications are, but very importantly, simplifying it. Because let's face it, everybody knows that a prescription pad represents some healing properties. Um, not many people, um, however, see the preventative side as being as important. They wait until they are sick, and by then, the proverbial horse would have gone through the gate. So we have to mobilize the country. We have to use the common, simple language to mobilize, and where we can use culture that is existing, the music, the colors, the dance, which is what Jamaica Moves attempts to do, then I think it's important to tap into that so that we get a, a positive response. All right, Minister Tufton, thank you so much for your insight, for all that information, and of course, your inspiration as we continue to, to get Jamaica moving one person at a time, and of course, the wider Caribbean. Thank you so much, Minister Tufton. Thank you, all the best. Thank you, bye, Minister. Now, uh, Minister Cuthbert Flynn, I think um, it's, it's that time. Would you like to do us the, the honors? Sure. To, to launch the, the virtual tour. Yes, the virtual tour of our physical activity page. Yes. Right. And I think this is something everybody is waiting on. I'm definitely waiting on this because I think it's, um, as Minister said, it's definitely needed in the workspace. And sometimes people are so busy yeah. that they don't get a chance to really, once they get home, so they can do the, some of these simple things at work. Let's right. take a look. Welcome to the Ministry of Health and Wellness's physical activity web page, designed with you in mind. Does the 30 minutes activity daily? Does your body treat your body right? Vegetables, make sure you eat. It provides creatively packaged information on physical activity for every age. The benefits of physical activity are many and play a significant role in the prevention and control of non communicable diseases. As we participate in varied types of physical activities, it is important to know the daily recommendations for your age group. Enjoy the fun videos that go along with them. From your want live a healthier life. Physical activity make you flexible, give you more balance and less bedridden. 30 minutes a day make you look younger. Five days a week make your bones stronger. Go visit your doctor before you start to. At home, these are some things that you can do. God needs. Get insight into the most burning questions about your body. Be sure to check out our photo and video highlights for many of our Jamaica Moves initiatives. There are some instructional videos also. These will guide your movement in whatever setting you're in. Hi guys, I'm Dr. Leanne Steele and today we're going to be talking about physical activity. 
So first off, what is physical activity? So physical activity is any movement that allows the body to use up energy. Stretching at your desk has several benefits, including reduce fatigue, increase blood flow, improve posture, reduce strains and pain, and improve flexibility. Resource materials on physical activity have been provided for you to readily access. These guide you as you start or maintain your physical activity routine. This page is off to a great start. Stay tuned, we have much more in store. Oh, wow, look at that. Wow, lots of information, lots of resources. Thank you so much, Minister, for giving us a virtual tour of our physical activity page. And boy, oh boy, you have lots of resources, lots of information, no matter what, what age you are, no matter what level you are at, there is something there for you. So if you're a beginner, if you're just going to start by taking a few steps up the stairs, it is there for you. If you want to learn how to squat or do some abs or some pull-ups, whatever it is, beginner, intermediate, whichever level you're at, it is there for you. So ensure you guys check it out. And I should tell you that the manual will be available as of tomorrow on the ministry's website, all right? So as of tomorrow, you guys can check out the manual. You can check out the physical activity webpage as well. And I know that you are ready to get moving, right? We're almost ready for you, almost. Doctor Minister, ready. will you be joining us? <laughs> yes, I guess. Do Dr. I'll, Spen do, I'll do some, some Do additional exercises. <laughs> Dr. Spence, is it, I see Dr. She's ready. She's Dr. ready. Spence I see ready. her in her workout gear. I see her in her sneakers. I know she's ready for us this morning. So we're gonna get moving, guys. <laughs> this morning so don't go anywhere all right i think we have one more thing to show you before we get into the physical aspect of things here we're gonna get physically fit this morning we're gonna have some fun all right so make sure you check this out right now lots of resources lots of information the launch of our physical activity web page and our corporate wellness manual you don't want to miss out check this out you're not in a special place you have to Bedroom, living room, work office. Move after every hour of sitting. You don't need the gym to do your thing. You want to feel good. Move at least 30 minutes a day. 60 minutes if you want to lose weight. Jam me a can people make me start moving because we want long life. Where we want long life. Where we want long life. Where we want long life. At least 30 minutes a day. Brought to you by Jamaica Moves, a program of the Ministry of Health and Wellness. You're not in a special place, you active. Bedroom, living room, work office. Move after every hour of sitting. You don't need the gym to do your thing. You want to feel good? Move at least 30 minutes a day. 60 minutes if you want to lose weight. Jam me a can, people make me start moving because we want long life. Where we want long life. Where we want long life. Where we want long life. Move at least 30 minutes a day. Brought to you by Jamaica Moves, a program of the Ministry of Health and Wellness. You're not in a special place, you active. Bedroom, living room, work office. Move after every hour of sitting. You don't need the gym to do your thing. You want to feel good? Move at least 30 minutes a day. 60 minutes if you want to lose weight. Jam me a can, people make me start moving because we want long life. Where we want long life. Where we want long life. Where we want long life. 
move at least 30 minutes a day. Brought to you by Jamaica Moves, a program of the Ministry of Health and Wellness. You're not in a special place, you're active. Bedroom, living room, work office. Move after every hour of sitting. You don't need the gym to do your thing. You want to feel good. Move at least 30 minutes a day. 60 minutes if you want to lose weight. Jam me a can people make me start moving because we want long life. Where we want long life. Where we want long life. Where we want long life. Move at least 30 minutes a day. Brought to you by Jamaica Moves, a program of the Ministry of Health and Wellness. Alright folks, I know you feel you're sitting wearing your makeup moves shirt. I told you that it's time to get physically fit, right? It would not be the launch of a physical activity page and corporate wellness launch without getting you physically involved as well, right? So now I'm joined by my team from the Ministry of Health and Wellness or Regional Physical Activity Specialist, right? And they're gonna warm us up this morning because we're gonna get physical if it's a little bit more, a little bit later on, all right? So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna hand things over to them right now. So let's go. Warm up time. <laughs> Let's go. Roll. Just march on the spot. Roll in shoulders. Roll. Roll. All right. We're gonna be stepping out. This is low impact work. Um, warming up, and this is for jumping jacks. All right. But low impact. Come on. Out. In. Come on. Out. Out. Open them up. It's a jumping jack but low in fact. Let's go. One, two, three, let's go. Throwing our arms to the side. Up. Push. 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 One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna go through it over and over, over, over our head. Let's go. Up. 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 Reach. Then I reach. Reach. Pushing our legs forward. Let's go. Push. Let's lower arm. Let's go. Pull right here. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. This is just warming up. Let's go. Push. But we're just moving. So wherever you are, you can check with Juliet and she will show you the low impact version of these exercises, all right? On the spot. Ready, reach up. Right, get the office, pen, paper, pen. What if we can find, pick it up? What if we can find, pick it up? Above the head. One, two, three, go. Yeah. Run, 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 run. Step, 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 side. Step. One leg up, one, one, 
Hey. Me bad. Huh? You don't want to have fun? Then move your soul. You do like so God. Then why you doing it? Yeah. You don't know when jab jab drink rum. Oh, we do not care. What's the Sorry. life at the party? Sorry. Is in our hands. But the rum say don't worry. Cause I am Superman. And you see all my haters. Normally I'm Ready again? Know, find something. Rum, no anything. Read me. Pick up something. Pick. Anything. Rum tell me to grab something. Anything. I just want to pick up something. Hold the head. Three, two, one, go. Run, run with it. Run, run with it. Run, run with it. Pick up something, start to run with it. Run, run with it. Run, run with it. Run, run with it. Pick up something, start to run with it. Yeah, there we go. Reach it up. Step again. One more time. One more time. Anything. From tell me to grab something. Anything. I just want to become something. Anything. Watch out, I will grab something. Anything. From Hold the head. Go. Run with it. Run with it. Run. Run with it. Become something. Start to run with it. Run. Run with it. Run. Run with it. Run. Run with it. Become something. Start to run with it. Hello. 911. Hi. Light work. Light work. Right. So we're not stopping moving. We're just on the spot. We'll go through this. So what we're going to next. I know Jamaica is a highly Christian country, right? <laughs> so next, we're going to have a little fight, right? I know a lot of times, temptation, right? A lot of times, it's so COVID, life seems hard, all right? So all our problems, whether the devil is a problem, whether they have issues, with mental health, we're gonna have a fight with it, all right? So, we're going to next. You can show my legs here. Step apart. Hands up. Hands up. To the eyes. All right, we're gonna keep the hands up for all time. So we're forward and back. Forward and back. All right, looking straight ahead. All right. Four, one, left hand. One, two, three. Three, four, right. One, two, three, four, left. All I require for life, God has given me, four, and I know one, who two, I am. Three, three, four. We one, are a chosen generation. We're then called for one, to show two, His excellence. Three, four. All one, I require for two, life, God three, has given me, four, four, I know. One, Two steps. Ready? Go. One. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. Three. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Turn to the side. Raise the one hand up. All right. Legs apart. And as far as you can, we're going to reach the knee up to the hand. Step. Go for ten. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Ready? 
Mach nur von. <laughs> Zoomers, are you ready? <laughs> Guys, that was the end of the warm up. Hit it. So, deep routine, arms up. Body by curves, body by curves, body by curves. Exhale. Body by curves, body by curves. Arch on the squat, right here. Woo! Yeah, body by curves. That look good. Listen, body by curves. So, I have 15 minutes. First five minutes. I want to keep them in the fuck running zone, all right? One drop. Let's keep up going. Dress in black. Remember that. Just in case we have a face to face and make contact. One, the title two. by me, MIB. Means what you think you walk saw. Walk Come to it. So don't blink. Be what you said. It's bad. Go on. Yep. That look good. I see you. Walk back. Walk a shadow. Move the silence. Guard against sex. Last time. Come forward. We ain't on no government list. We straight don't exist. I like that. I see you. Walk back. Last one. Strange. Watch your back. Could you never quite know where my beast is at? Stay here. Right here. On the cross leg. Right leg, left leg. Alternate it. So it's right, left. That's it. Let me say keep that pace here. All right. That's how the shoulders. Get Mark ready, set, let's go. We dance for pro. I know, you know. I can't stop and do it. I'm a new joint hit. Yep. Just can't sit. Got to get a one. That's it. Now, honey, honey, come ride. Put up crossing. All up in my eyes. Yep. Five. Four. Three. Two. Clap to the side. Right leg, left leg. Like this. Stop. Clap to the side. Let's break it down. Yep. Nice. That looks good. Five. Aha. Nice. Arms up like this. Elbows in like this. Yep. Nice. One minute. Two minutes. Yep. Exhale and squeeze right here. Yep, I like that. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's 
two. Just a bit of a break from the norm. Just One, a little bicep. Something to break right the monotony turn. of all that hardcore nice. dance that has gotten to be a little Ooh, bit like out of control. It's cool to dance, but what about a groove that suits and moves romance? Four. Give me a soft, subtle mix. And Three. if it ain't broke, then don't try to fix it. Two. And think of the summers of the past. And Just one, march on this button from the right here. Pop in my Walk CD and four. let me run around and put your car Walk on tools and lay back because it's summertime. Forward. Walk back last time. Let's put this routine together, yes? And if this is the last time, stay your cross leg, remember? Like this, right leg, left leg. Nice and easy. Arms to the side, remember? Four. Get ready to add back those shoulders. Two legs, you ready? Talia, say yes. Four, three, guys at home, you ready? Shoulder, like this. But now I see what happened is the way that people yep. respond to we got that. The weather is hot and girls nice. are less and checking out Zuma, the I see you. Best. Riding Four. around in your Jeep or your Benzos. Three. Or in your Nissan sitting on Lorenzo's. Back Two. in Philly, we be out in the park. A place ready, top to the side, top to the side. Like this. Guys out hunting and nice girls and doing right. at the honey and funny with the light eyes. Ready to add arms. Hop to the floor. It's like the summer's a natural aphrodisiac. And Two. Elbows up like this. In and out. Nice and easy, right, Jay? Yep, she say yes. And four, three, two, bicep curl. Nice. Yep, that look good. Yeah. I see you, Zoomers. I see you. That look good. Nice form. Chest up. Exhale. Four, three, two. March on the spot again. Yep. Check this one out now. Four, three, two. And two left. We're gonna do the modified version. Here's the modifier. Select version. Those with knee problems. Here's the modifier, side to side. Here's the real version. Yep. Tyler, me and you. Ready? Here we go. Yep. Nice. That look good. Yep. Where's the arm, G? Juliet. Here's the version. Watch me. Yep. Yep. Still look coordinated. How them look? Look good? Ready again. Let's join T. Whoa. And I like that. Five more. Four. Three. Two. March right here. All right. Check this one out. My favorite. So we're going to two steps to the right, two steps to the left. Watch me. Come with me. Two steps. Yep. One and two. One and two. Let's add the arm back. It's what? Again, yep. So two steps to the right. Two steps to your left. Ready. Ready. Go. All right. Let's keep it simple. So two steps to the right. This is Gillette's version. <laughs> it's Tyler version. That's a turn. Look what's right. If not, stay with Gillette. One, two, clap. And that's how we do it. March on the spot right here. All right. That wasn't bad. Let's put that together again. Four, three, two, side to side. We'll call this one bunny up. Remember, modify if you have to modify, yes? What does it look like? Like this. Yep. Nice. Here's the modified version. This is too easy. Let's stop it up. Ready? Jump. Jump. Whoa. Yep. Nice. I like that. Now we'll do five more. Count with me. Five. Four. What next? Three. Stand by for grapevine. Two steps to the right. Go. No. Next side. Whoa. Can I get that clap right here? Load up. Zoom us. I can't hear you. You can't hear it. It's a better. Gillette, don't hear a clap. Last one. I like that. Yeah, Zuma, I see you. Take a turn. Clap. One more, one more. Basic grapevine only. Check out the dizziness. March it right here. Nice. All right, check this one out. Your favorite. Four, three, two. Right leg up. Right leg. We'll just do a basic knee lift. Straight those deep legs up, hitting the abs a little bit. Yeah, right here. Eight, seven, six, 
Spy. Look Larry Vicky, if you need to hold on, hold on to stop my eyes. No pressure. And five, four, three, two. So we're on one leg, here we go, to the side. It's a little baby lift. Yep, stick those gluteus medius right here. Squeeze. Bend both knees slightly, yes? Only in two sets of ten. Count to me. Ten, nine, eight. Right there, yeah, man. Seven. Smell something burning, you guys smell that? Four, is you? Three, no, two. Next side, knee lift. That's it, knee only. Yep, arms right here, nice. And put them up. Count with me. Ten, nine, eight. Guys, are professionals. Look so good. Four, stand by, leg raise to the side. Up to two, one, ready? To the side, right here. So you can lift, bend both knees slightly. We have some fun now. Lift and squeeze. How do we breathe? Exhale, breathe out. Right here. Say, so always want to exhale on the hardest part. Yes. And lift. Mm, smell something burning again. Juliet, is that you? Juliet, hold up your hand. Let me see you. See right there on the back. Yeah. And four. And three. And two. Knee lift next side. Right here. Knee lift only. Right here. Set number two. Final set. Between two sets only. Yes. Stay with me. Again, guys, we're still on the beat. Count with me. Ten. Nine. Anyone like to tell you in advance? What's coming up next? Abduction to the side. Eight. Seven. Six. Four. Zoom as you ready. Two. Abduct to the side. Nice little leg burn. Whoa. Yep. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Yep. Nice and smell them again. I know, right? Only on this exercise. Five. Four. Stand by next side. Knee lift coming up. Ready, knee lift. No, right here. Yep, stay on the beat. Yep. Nice. Final set, guys. Zoomers, stay with me, all right? Yep, that looks good. Count it. Ten. Love the flare. Yep. All right, ladies' version. Yep. I'll take the girl in the blue. Yep. Hey. Who say you can't have flare? Of course. Fellas, your version this. Yep. Yep, we're almost there. All right, five, sorry, four, three, stand by. I'm up to the side. Whoa, yep, right here. Whoa. Final, set, stand on the beat. You want to go on with Jay? Go on, Jay. Juliet, Judy, count, count coming. So Jay's going to count. When's she ready? Woo! Is she ready? Not yet. I'll have one for her. And eight, seven, six. These traders can't count enough. <laughs> Two, march on the spot. Whoa! Burn! Oh. All right, so now we're going to be tough to the lower leg, yeah? Come back to the upper. Can I give it a little up? Time to done. In five, four, check this out. Three, legs wide, shoulder width. Bend the knees slightly. Which muscle are you hitting now? Your obliques. Love angles, side bends. Come again. Yep. Mm -hmm. That look good. Exhale. Breathe out. Bend the knees slightly. Chest up. I like that. Yep. Mm -hmm. So guys, on the next song, get ready for the double. What does double mean? Two time each side, yes? On the toes. Here we go. Double. Next side switch. Whoa, that look good. Toast. Yep. <laughs> yep. Nope. That look good. Coming up to the end, guys. We're almost there. Two to go. Yep. So again, these are some different examples, guys. You can do to stay active, of course. Simple cardio. So you can work the lower half. You know, we're hitting the obliques. Upper half. Yep. Two to go. Guys, listen, stand by. I like to cue you. After two, we're going to stay on the right side. Yes? When are coming back. You ready? Here we go. Stay on the right side. Stay here all the time. Stay here. Mm -hmm. Eight. Seven. Six. That look good. Keep your chest up, remember? Bend the knees slightly. Couple tips for you. Yep. Four. Three. Ready to change? Two. Change side. Quick. Some soon done. Oh, yep, stand the beat. Remember, bending knees slightly, watching him. Yep, right there. Four. 
three. Two of the full arms and bow head. Like this. Come. All right, side to side. This is where we're finishing up. That look good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Reach over. And freeze. Matrix. Body body, body body, body right here, team. That wasn't bad. And this part is called a cool down. Remember Tali, I was talking about stretching? I want to emphasize on stretching right here, right now. Oftentimes, guys, class legs tend to do workout and nobody wants to stretch. Last fingers here, all the way to right. You're right. Only stretch, yep. Nice. Very nice. Sweet, sweet side. Yeah. That looks good. Nice nurse, I see you. Nice, you're flexible, damn. And center. Right here, around the back up. Nice. Nice upper back stretch. Yeah. Purpose of this stretch, upper back muscles. Hold it. Four. Three. Two. Clasp the fingers to the back. Lift the arm up as high as you can. I'll show you from the side. Nice, nurse. Give me a little chest up, nurse. Two more chest up, nurse. 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 Ah, there you go. Stay here. Yep. Hold the stretch. Five. Four. I like that. Three. Two. And one. We're going to the left. We're on the right side. On the heel. Reach and touch two. Perfect stretch for the back of the leg. Your hamstrings. Nice. I like that. And four. And three. Two. And one. Can we change legs? Nice. Right here on the heel. Hold for support. Need to. Touch two. Yeah. Nice. And be the captain, the pilot, the teacher. Four. Be the head and the three, boss and the leader. Two. Be my guide mission. And one. Legs wide, shoulder width. Touch from the side, back flat. Arch. Right here. Perfect for the upper back muscles. Yeah. Back flat. Up. Turn one more time, team. Roll it all the way up to the top. Nice. Lift the head last. Once in a straight position. One vertebrae at a time. Very good, nice. Let's rotate the shoulders. Like a self massage. We're almost there. Four. Three. Perfect way to take the heart rate down, yeah? So for every high, there has to be a low, guys. One more. Change direction right here. Last two. One more team. Deep breath in. Arms up. And it's all finish off. Clap yourself. Oh. Body by Kurt, thank you so much. Good job, guys. Oh my goodness, my regional physical activity specialist, thank you so much for joining us one more time, ladies and gentlemen, for the launch of our physical activity webpage and, of course, our manual, our wellness manual. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I must tell you that for all the questions you have, any inquiries, anything that you want to know, you can email us, that's hpemedia2019 at gmail.com, all right? hpemedia2019 at gmail.com. If you have questions, if you have concerns, you want to find out a little bit more information, and we're going to continue just revamping, recreating, and making our corporate wellness manual even better, and of course, our physical activity page. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us this morning. Remember, the corporate wellness manual will be available as of tomorrow, and you can check out our physical activity web page right now, all right? So get moving, guys. Get moving, Jamaica, and let's help to get better lifestyles, better communities, and of course, healthier communities. Have a fantastic afternoon, my name, have a fantastic morning, I should say. I thought it was afternoon. Kurt, you tired me out, but I appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. Check out the physical activity webpage, and of course, the corporate wellness manual. My name is Talia Suarez. Have a fantastic morning. Enjoy the rest of your day, and get moving, Jamaica. Bye, guys. <laughs> COVID still a key, but yes, we are believed. So exercise and stay active, get moving. Make space in your house, play with your kids, use music and work out. Strengthen up your body to the
pandemic Sanitize equipment if you want to use it, have fun But keep your distance Protect yourself and protect everyone Exercise Boost your immune system Prevent COVID-19 by just moving A message from the Ministry of Health and Wellness Grandma, Grandpa Let me see hands from you all live a healthier life Physical activity make you flexible, give you more balance and less bedridden. 30 minutes a day make you look younger. Five days a week make your bones stronger. Go visit your doctor before you start to. At home these are some things that you can do. Gardening, raking, sweeping, dancing, walking. Be a healthy life and a longer living. Grandma, grandpa keep moving. Do at least 30 minutes physical activity. Five days a week and stay healthy. Do at least 30 minutes physical activity. Five days a week, listen to me. Need help, use your walker. While I rachi, do a little sit up jogging or even tai chi. The relaxation, go at the back of the yard. Bust a stretch, you will get your reward. Do some upper back stretch, full body stretch. Forward stretch, side stretch, knee stretch. Be a healthy life and a longer living. Grandma, grandpa, keep moving. Do at least 30 minutes physical activity. Five days a week and stay healthy. Brought to you by Jamaica Moves, a program of the Ministry of Health and Wellness. Physical activity boosts your brain power. Give enough energy to push the grades them higher. Put your ring gears up, catch dandy shandy. Physical activity increase your memory. Preparing the exam and your feel stress. Take a walk, harbors have one stretch. Can't do a no, I just try to do something. Movements build stronger bones and muscle we have. More gyne of enjoyment, long life, active 60 minutes a day. More gyne of enjoyment, long life, active 60 minutes a day. Be active at least 60 minutes a day. Parents give the kids several hours of free play. The children are the future, so give them, them happy hours we have. More gyne of enjoyment, long life, active 60 minutes a day. More gyne of enjoyment, long life, active 60 minutes a day. Brought to you by Jamaica Moves, a program of the Ministry of Health and Wellness.